ignition keys, native instruments, play series, another contact library, and this time it's all about pop, lush keys and pads, and we're going to explore this instrument. I'm going to give you a lot of the sound demos. Also, we're going to dive into some little bit of advanced stuff. I'm going to show you the sound engine and how to use the macros and maybe uh, design your own sounds. So let's get started. Right, so the user interface is really interesting because on the main page, we have the A and the B layer. This is where you select the samples, the sounds for each one, and each preset will feature two sounds and you can balance between them. So we have this balance here. And you can already hear that we have a sequencer, so we're going to get into that uh, further in the video. But now, if you want to change anything, you just click this title here or the magnifying glass and you will have a split screen here. You have the A and the B and you'll see that little A, little B beside the sample that is loaded. And you can change anything. So let, let's just explore some more presets. I, I just want to have uh, some opportunity to listen to more sounds. Right, so I'm going to change the A to something else. And let's change the B. Right, so you can start with a preset and then go from there. So I'm using complete control, which is free, and you can load ignition keys into this, or you can use contact, uh, even the contact player. So you don't have to use the full contact. And so let's go back to the main view here, the main page. And on the bottom here, we have sort of a, a list of macros, which are uh, kind of part of the preset. So they, they are hardwired, they are programmed into the, uh, the preset. And we also have randomization here, so we can just click this. Right, and let's try another preset. And I'm going to randomize that. And another one. So next, I want to show you something interesting. If we go into the sound page, this is very similar to a synthesizer interface. So we have for each of the layers, for A and the B, the transpose, the tuning. We have panning, volume. We also have some other things that you can sort of color the sound. So we have a bit reduction and crushing and we have noise, we have color. And on the bottom here we have a filter, we can turn it on and off of course, and we have a lot to choose from. So we have low pass and high pass, band pass, we have different types. So you can read all about that in the user manual of course, but it's, uh, it's really uh, simple stuff. So you just select each of those, any of those, and then we also have the cutoff the resonance and for some of the types you also have gain so uh, let's try and find one of those so the ladder and we have the resonance so the question is what's going on on the right side so everything to the right here is modulation which means that we are 
uh, automating stuff. So for example, if I want to automate the filter cutoff, just move it around, I can use LFO. So LFO is a low frequency oscillator and without going much into details, uh, what it does, it just oscillate, repeats itself and I can use it to move things around. So I'm gonna click LFO1 and now I have these sliders, these uh, little sliders just beside all the uh, controls that make sense. So now all I need to do is just go and turn that one up and we'll set a starting point. And now let's have a listen. Right, and that is affected by the LFO. So this is the LFO and we have the waveform and I can just click and drag up and down, get different shapes. And then I have the rate. So right now it's in Hertz, but I can lock this to my BPM and now it's uh, uh, just in sync. So I can just use quarters, for example. Right, and that's the way to do it. So let's uh, uh, go ahead and just reset that. We don't really uh, want that right now. And something else that we can use here, for example, again, uh, to modulate stuff uh, is the mod wheel. So if you want to use the mod wheel and change things, for example, I can use that for the noise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this uh, mod wheel here, but there's no control. So it means that I'm not able to use this modulator on, uh, on the noise, but I, I can use it on the crash. I can use it on the volume here, on the panning. I can use it even for the cutoff. So I can just do this. And now when I'm using my uh, mod wheel, you'll see that we are just basically changing the cutoff. Right, and I can use it also for the crush. And that's the basic idea. So if you want to learn more, check the user manual. I do, I read all the user manuals and it's a lot of fun sometimes you learn something new. So that's the uh, sound engines and you can actually link A and B here. And there are some other stuff that I didn't really show you like the mod envelope and the amp envelope. And if you want to learn more about those, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll do a video or a live stream just to talk about that part in, uh, in depth about modulations. Next, let's check out the effects page. And here we have two EQs, one for the A layer, another one for the B layer. Just click that and you'll get all the controls. So we have the low frequencies, the low, low mid, we have the high mids and so on and the high frequencies. And that goes for layer A and B and you can turn it on or off as you wish. Then we have the chain of effects that is combined for both of these layers. And you can just drag and drop and rearrange stuff. And if you'll click this drop down, you'll get the selection of the effect. So lots of things to explore. And every time you select any of those, you'll see the controls right here in the middle. So uh, for example, chorus, then I have the speed, the depth, the phase. So that is in a nutshell, the effect. And you can just audition stuff. All right. And now let's check the sequencer. So when you go into the sequencer, you need to turn it on right here. And now let's play. And it will just repeat in a certain rate. So right now it's 16th, but I can slow it down. And we have pitch and velocity. But in fact, we have several pages. We have four pages. So this first one is pitch and velocity. Then we have macro one and two, three, four, and five, six. So this is a bit of advanced stuff. And if you want to se sequence the, uh, the macros, which are just right here on the bottom, then you can do that with these special pages. And what I can do is I can just draw something just for fun. Right, but we can 
lock this into scale. So right now the root key is C and we have a scale. I can lock this to a harmonic minor. And you'll see uh, exactly which degrees within the scale and you can do this very easily. So very, very cool stuff and very easy to use. But we can also limit the number of steps. So right now it's uh, 16 steps. I can just limit that to four. Right, and we also have the velocities and we can sequence that. And that's the idea. Again, there's more to it. There are some other controls, which I'm just skipping for now. But of course, it's uh, something that you can easily learn and use. For example, if you want this to, uh, to be um, routed for both of the layers, A and B, or maybe just A, just B, and, and maybe none. So uh, that's uh, one thing that worth mentioning. And that is the sequencer. Next, we have the macros. So again, on the main page, we have the uh, macros that comes with this preset. So I'm going to select just another preset. And we can just play with those. Now, if we go into the sound engine, you'll see these little dots right next to some of the controls and you'll see the color, the color matching that specific macro. And if we'll go into the macro page, we'll see that we have all the macros right here. So we have the first one, it's cut off, then resonance, then we have saturation and so on. And we can see what exactly they are macroing, exactly what they are affecting. So if we'll go into the cutoff, we'll see that the that, that one really makes sense. It, it is the filter cutoff for layer A and B. So let's go into the sound engine and play with that and you'll see exactly what's happening here. But we can do some other stuff. For example, if we'll change this uh, type of uh, filter to let one, uh, we can have also the gain affected by this cutoff, just for, for the example. So I'm going to click this little dot here, it's going to flicker. And now I'm going to click this gain. And you'll see that we have the macro assignment and I can just set the amount, right? And now it is affecting both the cutoff and the gain. And you can do that for all the macros or you can design your own macros. And that is pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. So let's go and explore some more presets. I'm gonna just flick through some of those. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Of course, if you want to talk with me, if you have any questions or anything, join the Discord server, the Plugin Academy. This is the community that uh, is for us. Uh, to talk about plugins, talk about virtual instruments and anything else music. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.